is Tone and welcome to POV Ramp, brought to you by a &R Pro Media. Today we're going to be talking about sitting on the fence. Sitting on the fence, what does it mean? Sitting on the fence is basically you not choosing a side. You trying to be neutral. And in some cases, you can be neutral. But in most cases, you can't. Being neutral doesn't work. Not when there's a very clear choice to be made. Again, not when there's a clear choice to be made. And you could say, well, it wasn't clear. I, I, I couldn't tell what side, so I decided to stay out of it. I didn't want to be involved. No. If you can't decide what side to be on, if you're having trouble trying to figure out what side of the fence you should stand on or where you should stand, ask yourself about the situation. Ask yourself what's right and what's wrong. And then the choice becomes pretty easy. The only problem is now is what are you going to do about it? Are you going to still stay there and be quiet and sit on the fence now that you know the choice that you should make? I mean, because if it's between right and wrong, then it's, it's an easy choice. No matter what the choices actually are, if the choice between right and wrong, then it's an easy choice. But sometimes the easy choice isn't the easiest choice to make. And that's where people have problems. Have you ever heard that phrase? If you're not with me, then you're against me. If you're not with us, then you're against us. And the problem with someone choosing a side for you is that you might not like where you end up. And the problem is you had no choice in it. Well, you did have a choice, but you sat on the fence. See, that's the problem with sitting on the fence. You can't do it. Especially when it comes to doing the right thing. You can't sit on the fence and do the right thing. If you see somebody or you see something that you don't agree with happening, but you don't want to get involved. And, you know, people are asking, they know you were there, you don't want to get involved. Or, if you're asking to choose between, you know, one policy or the other, one group or the other, you don't want to choose, don't want to be involved. You don't want either side angry at you. You don't want to, you don't have enough gumption, enough you know, moxie to just say what, you know, what you think. If you think both sides are full of shit, it's okay to say that. But if you're not choosing a side because you don't want to offend or piss off one of the two sides, that's about the time when shit usually hits the fan. Because, like I said, like it or not, if you don't choose, someone is going to choose for you. So think about that. Sitting on the fence. Is it a good thing? I mean, is it really? Well, that's the rant for today. POV rant. Brought to you by NR Pro Media. <laughs> Until next time. Ah!